Hi, hi, welcome to our meditation on grace. Today is the 5th of February. I would like to read in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 4 to 6. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were also called to be to the one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. And we can put these verses from 6 to 4, because that's the way we see our God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. There is no way you can destroy God. So, if you cannot destroy God, you cannot destroy his family. And we have seen over the, the centuries that the world, the different systems, different people who are all dust now, they, just, they tried to destroy the church. As Paul is saying here, there is one God, and this God is above all. He is the, the one who created, who invented the church. It is written in Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, that we were blessed with, with all sorts of blessings in the heavenly places. And in Christ, we were chosen before the foundation of the world to be holy, to belong to God alone, to be his, his treasure, his inheritance. And in verse 5, it's written that there is only one Lord, one Father, one Lord, one Jesus Christ, one Church. And this is the Christ who has given us faith, and it is in Him that we have all been baptized, as Paul says in Romans and in Ephesians, and in Titus as well. Baptized on, the, on His cross, baptized on the resurrection, baptized on His ascension. Because, as Paul says, we are seated now in the heavenly places in, with Christ. And finally, it is the Spirit that has made us into a one body. The Holy Spirit is the one who is guiding us as we live, as we wait for the coming of the Lord, or as we wait to join Him. And Jesus said in the Gospels that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Why? Because the church is God, God's invention. The church was saved, was redeemed by the Lord Jesus Christ, because the church is guided by the Holy Spirit. So there is no power in this world. Nobody can destroy the church of Christ. Saved by grace, we are kept in Christ by the Holy Spirit. The one who started the good work, says Paul to the Philippians, uh, Philippian church, is the same one who is going to help us to get there. He is helping us as we go through this difficult life. He is with us. The church is strong in Christ. You are strong in Christ. And God, God is doing a wonderful work in your life. And maybe he's even calling you to go to another country, to go to another town, to go to another place, to preach the gospel, the gospel of eternal life, the gospel of Jesus Christ. There is no other power in this world that is more greater than the one that God has given us. So nobody can destroy this church because nobody can destroy our God. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. God bless you.